Hi everybody, GXW. Uh, this is an announcement for a forthcoming larger scale project that I'm going to be trying to do in at least three parts. This is my Sencore uh, vacuum tube and transistor tester. It is the only device I really have for testing uh, vacuum tubes, at least for emissions. I don't have a mutual conductance tester, but this device has been very, very useful to me over the last few years uh, as I've gotten more and more interested in high voltage electronics and as they say hollow state. Uh, it has worked just fine for what it's for. Uh, I haven't used its transistor test features. I have other much more modern and much more accurate devices for doing that but this has been great for dealing with vacuum tubes everything from old four pins to uh, you know, up through compactron tubes. Uh, that is up until recently, and the whole reason for this upcoming video series. I had to put it in storage over winter last winter, and here in eastern Oregon, this was one of the worst winters, uh, that is to say the winter of 2016 into 2017, not the winter of 2017 into 2018, but uh, it was one of the worst winters we've had in 20 years, and we got temperatures here locally at the house well, 20 below zero, 25 below zero, not counting wind chill. And this device, unfortunately, was among the stored items in the, the storage shed. And when I brought it back in and fired it up, I tested it. And initially, everything seemed like all is well with it. It, it did some tests, and I had some known good tubes, and they reported pretty close to what I was expecting them to report. The problem was, is I started going through a batch of a couple of hundred tubes that I purchased from a, uh, you know, a used estate uh, junk tube retailer online to see if any of them were salvageable or saleable. And about two or three tubes in, the checker began making some strange noises. It began buzzing and almost like it has an audio circuit or an audio tone uh, that it was trying to emit, but there is no discernible mode where that should be the case when checking tubes. When that happened, the meter would also jump from good back to bad back to good and it almost startled me enough to unplug the thing and shut it off immediately. I checked and it wasn't drawing any abnormal amount of current so for a time I just got, went ahead and finished off the batch of tubes I wanted to check but then I noticed that when I went back and checked a known good tube any time that I tested a tube that had a heavier load uh, indication on it, it would begin bouncing and acting strangely. So we're going to go through it. The purpose is going to be to restore it to fully working order and then I'm going to take the time to calibrate it so I can begin working more with some vacuum tube tech uh, here on the channel and it'll have its own playlist once we get going. Uh, this whole tube tester will have its own playlist of videos starting from uh, what its features are, and then I'll go into the teardown, repair, and finally into its, you know, fully being restored and working. Yes, I realize that uh, there's a lot of people out there into vacuum tubes who will say, oh, it's just a emissions tester, it's a piece of junk, it's not worth it, but A, it's the only thing I have, which makes it very valuable to me, and B, it's something that is an interesting project, which I think other people might be curious about how tube testers work, and what the value is in having one. Anyway, this has been GXW, and I'm very excited to announce this. Look forward to some videos about the hybrider here in the upcoming weeks. Thanks. Bye.